parents, oh, well, there you go. But the, the parents, oh, well, it's got, they have to be monsters. You've got two guys that are willing to sh You're literally. Fuck, I'm trying to draw. Oh. Donate to Ted Cruz and get close fucked up on that same map. Not for the last of that is, right? Oh. Get <laughs> There's a meme that. You're doing this box play, kid. I know we got boxes everywhere. Yeah, take them out. Cause you like getting into them. Yeah, you do. You do. Yes, you do. Ha ha ha. Go to work today. We gotta go to work today. Good job. Look at these new teeth. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're getting new teeth, Omar. He's wiling today. Yeah. Yeah, now you're excited. What's up? What's up? Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Sorry. What the fuck? I was trying to spin him. I didn't know he was going to totally. I fucking abuse the dog. Okay, so this you're isn't your man. This is all the weed that I bought on the way here. Because I decided to stop at my new spot that I said had killer weed. And I'm like, I'm going to buy this so that I can show Teddy just how good it is. Oh, this is a bad example. Oh, uh, that's thing. Because, wait, oh, look at this. This is good. Why, because it's big? So this is the shit that I smelled in the place. Oh, sorry. That's good. Cookie wreck? Yeah, it's train wreck so and it's a Girl wreck. Scout cookie. Yeah, this. <laughs> I think this is and this is. The blueberry is not, but I, I've been looking for blueberry on my journey. And I was like, yo, this weed is good. I actually bought it just to go show my friend that there's actually good weed here, but I had to bring it to show him. Then she goes, yup, I trimmed it myself. I was like, oh. Is she a blazing hottie? No. She wasn't not a not. You just say no now to all. No, but she wasn't bad. Look, well, because well, now I don't know what's ever going to show up. She might watch this on the video and be like, that asshole, he yeah. said I'm not a place to not. We're going to go with the cookie rack? Yeah, we'll swipe out this morning. All right. I love these bags. I think I'm going to go to Mets Rockies tonight. Dude, just so you know, they're $16 tickets. Like, you can just go and, like, hang out and drink and yeah. see the ballpark. Or, like, I wrote something about Trump. Or you saw when Trump was telling the police to, like, hit dudes' heads on the way in. Yeah. I wrote some article about that. All my friends, like, agreed. I've you got wrote an article? Not an article. I just posted no. the wrong. No, uh -huh. I just. You just know? What do you know? Don't try to fix it. Don't try to fix it. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't fuck up the rotation. Just bring it back to me so I can expose. Run it. Yeah. There, you can't see this. But somehow Ernie got weed around the filter. In case you didn't know, worst blunt roller in the world. <coughs> no, no, no. Started at the witch finger and now we're here. The witch the finger was finger. a classic. Ah. But, uh, man. God damn, we need that dash cam. Yeah, well, no, no, no. But now, because I'm trying to think, because this is the way I automatically go and it takes me back to Englewood, but I need to get to. So you're going to the baseball game tonight? I think so. Take For it. $16. And you know what's hard to go by that? yourself? No, I think with Brandy. Uh, okay. Hey, you're going to the fucking game tonight. Puts. Catch me on the fucking TV. <laughs> up in the nose, please. Yeah. I remember when the Rockies first came out when they were an expansion team. Is that guy shooting up right there on the road? It looks like it, my friend. And you're afraid to fly with weed. Um, <laughs> yeah. It was them and someone else, the Florida Marlins. They had those, those were like the first hats that they really came out with that had like the front logo and then they had the word printed on the back real big. Yup, like, I know exactly yeah. what you're talking was, like, about. The White Sox hat like that, I had all them shits. Well, I used to want a starter jacket, like, you know, the yeah, classic I a, kind. I had a few, yeah. But my parents, they ended up getting me the budget version. I got... Oh, no. It was like the coach's jacket. Oh, it was a, like all the really good days. Yeah, but my dad got us starter jackets for Christmas. But before Christmas, I was outside, like, playing basketball. And my dad had parked, and I don't even know what I was doing. I wasn't even looking for Christmas presents. I was just being a fucking weird kid, you know? And yeah. So I popped his trunk and, like, just, like, going through his trunk and, like as soon as I popped the trunk, I saw just like it was like full of gifts, and on top was like the Orlando Magic split oh, nice. colored starter jacket. You know, for me and my sister had Carolina Tar Heels. It's pretty dope. Yeah, and I was like, oh shit! So I like closed the trunk real quick, ran inside, grabbed my sister, and I'm like, 
we got Dad got a star jacket. It's like, holy shit. And, uh, okay. you know, so, but I didn't close the trunk all the way. My dad comes in the house and is fucking mad as shit. He's like screaming. He's like, who went through my car? Like, just like going on. My dad was like a fucking 500 pound, like, yeah. scary motherfucker. Just like going off. And then uh, I was like, you know, it was me. And he's like, I'm taking him back. And we're like, no. You know, like, tears were fucking shit. No, no. And then so come, this is like two weeks before Christmas. So like all this anticipation, cause you know, you were like, and I'm asking like, did you really take him back? And he's like, yeah, I took him back. And I'm like, no, you didn't. You know, he's like, I took Teddy, I took him back. You know, he's being like dead serious with me. Pissed at me the whole time too, you know? And so Christmas morning comes, we, you know, open every fucking gift. There's no starter jacket. You know, we go to my grandma's house later and my grandma's like, did you get everything you wanted for Christmas? I'm like, no. She's like, what do you mean? You know, like, you know, dad took back a starter jacket that I found, you know, all fucking pissed. Open all all these presents at my grandma's house because I'm like all right this is gonna be my grandma's yeah like, fuck it open them up nothing you know no fuck no box even shaped like a starter jacket <laughs> it's just like god damn it go home because I'm still all got hope you know I'm like yeah it's gonna be at the house you know <laughs> like nope no fucking starter jacket <laughs> just go to sleep and then uh, the next morning I woke up and it was like hanging on my door you know like on the back side of my door and my oh, sister as my well god. yeah so he is he had kept them or whatever, but it was fucking like the most torturous fucking Christmas experience <laughs> <That's> ever. <amazing. laughs> yeah, like that. No, my dad was ridiculous. He's like, "Fuck, making Christmas yeah. special. I'm gonna teach him the greatest <laughs> yeah. lesson they'll yeah. ever learn." He was ridiculous for sure. That's Absolutely. He fucking. I got hit in the face with a baseball playing. I was a pretty big baseball player growing yeah. up too, and so played first base and then. I got hit right in the fucking face at practice oh. and it like swole up my eye like crazy, like black eye, like super insane. My dad fucking went to my school before I got there. It was also my mom's 40th birthday, so he put yeah. out some big ass banner. It was like, Lordy, Lordy, Marty's 40 or some shit, you know what I mean, to embarrass my mom. You know, I walk up into the fucking school and there's a wanted poster of my face with the black eye and it says wanted. <laughs> Uh, suspect suspect is known for catching baseballs with his face and it's like he hung up like three posters at my middle school. each building there's like these all these separate buildings had one it's like yo what the fuck he's like roasting oh, that's kind of amazing yeah it's ridiculous like, cause they can't do it dog I worked with a guy that ended up pulling a gun on the fucking front counter girl because a girl wanted to make a change to a dove tattoo these girls came in and they were like, I want to, they're like, it was Sunday. Yeah. And he, <laughs> this is the best. Uh, he goes, they come in like, I want these doves and I want to like put some names and banners with it or something. And he's all freaking out because he can't draw letters. He can't draw banners. He just needs to trace it. He's like, well, we don't do any custom drawings on the weekends, which was like our kind of rule on Saturdays if somebody, because we were such a busy shop. Yeah. It was like, if you want this big custom drawing, like we can't do it for you on Saturday. If someone wants to add a fucking name to a bird, it's like, that's not a, that's not a custom tattoo. You know? He was just being a dick and he's like, we don't do custom drawings on the weekends at all. And I just started laughing or whatever. He's like, all right, you want to do it, Teddy? And I was like, sure, I'll take care of it. And so I started drawing for them. And uh, the front counter girl and him had already like kind of had beef always, you know? Yeah. She, or she calls the owner and tells him what he just did. And like told these girls that he couldn't, you know, he can't draw on the weekend. <laughs> the guy and then fucking yells at him and then the guy ends up just like getting pissed off and he's like, fuck this, we got a fucking snitch in the bill and I quit, you know, he's like, I'm quitting. So he like runs outside to call again and fuck, you know, whatever. He's not yeah. in the shop and I'm just sitting there like, oh God. And then uh, <laughs> the girl just like doesn't understand how pissed off he is and starts going through his shit, like opens his drawers and starts taking out shit that the shop would have bought, which is the equivalent of like rubber bands and paper towels and like yeah. less, less than $50. He walks back in from being pissed off even more pissed off, definitely not any less pissed off, he sees her, who he already hates, going through his shit and just fucking loses it. You know what I mean? He's just like screaming, screaming, screaming. Yeah. He reaches into his fucking waistband and he has this fucking little pistol and he straight up puts it to the side of her fucking head. And he's like, I will fucking kill you. You know what I mean? And she's like instantly fucking tears. I'm sitting there like, drawing, there's customers in the lobby. I'm drawing some doves <laughs> that say like, peace on earth. <laughs> I'm like, I look at Derek, I'm like, Derek, you know, and he's like, looks at me, you know, and I'm like, 
just I said I think I said his daughter's name. You know what I mean? I think I was yeah. like. And then he just like chilled out or snapped out of it, and then uh, like just fucking grabbed his shit and ran like threw the fucking gun on the roof, I guess, which we found out later, and ran like just took off. You Why? Because I mean? he thought she would call the cops. She did absolutely call the cops. Yeah. You know what I mean? She calls the cops, all this shit, you know what I mean? She's fucking shaking up and she's like, I thought you'd take up for me. I was like, I fucking did what I, we want me to do. Jump in front of a fucking gun for you. I was like, what are you, you're crazy. He's like, I don't like you either. I don't want you to get shot, but I don't, we ain't fucking with each other. Yeah, you know? yeah. We're not friends. We just work together. The girls in the front are like totally turned off from getting tattooed, obviously. Because, but the reason why is because they wanted a discount. They're like, y'all better give us a fucking discount, you know, like, like Oh, because there was an incident. They had to go to the incident. I was like, honestly, I was like, after today, I think I'm just gonna go home for the day. So we saw Blazing Hottie walking in across the street, so we're like, what? Nice. Oh, okay. yeah! Oh. What's up? Oh, no. Yeah! Teddy's here. Oh, no. What could you possibly be talking about? There's so much stuff going on this morning. Yeah, just done right. you gotta get all this Nike shit out of here. I never even knew it was Fuck like... your Nike it's, hat. It's, Don't wear that shit in here again. You know what? I told you guys, no, I don't do it. Come in here barefoot. It's all I have. <laughs> Like, okay, just like maybe do something like Omar's toy. It's a science, so like, like, you can't just make a fucking dog toy that's shaped like whatever you want, you know what I mean? You can't say, yeah, that. you're right. There can be like a I don't know if ergonomical is the right word for a chew or hold, yeah. but you're just one step closer to becoming a robot. You're, tra you're transcending. Um. I smoke a cigarette before my hellish day starts. Hellish. Drink more water. Oh, my life has been in front of a computer screen mostly. So he's good. I haven't seen it yet. Is it good? Everything is what good. Oh, he just don't Yeah. All my fucking vlogs are good, dog. What the fuck are you talking about? Name a bad one. Name a bad vlog. Which episode? Name one. Yeah. Silence. Is it good? <laughs> Every day on earth is good. <laughs> Every day above ground, son. Too casual. Yeah. <laughs> when you're fucking filling out the application, is it like how comfortable are you touching fucking dicks all day? It's like on the wall. Even though you know, even though every even though everyone here knows there's no weapon or bomb or anything of the sorts, and that we're doing this because there's a fucking zipper attached to your shorts, how comfortable are you with fucking fake touching dicks all day? You know, for fucking Fake security. Yes, I fucking hate you. I was fucking trying to scare your brother and tell him I was gonna do the loud challenge inside that airplane. <laughs> I was just gonna fucking light it in the airplane. I was like, how much trouble can I get in? And he's like, I don't know. And I was like, but I'll tell you what I can get on. It's the fucking news. So I gotta figure out what that fine is. What if they I never would let you fly again? Again? What if they put you on the For smoking a blunt? What if I have a medical card and I'm just like, look, I smoke a cigarette. It's the same way. It's not yeah. fucking marijuana. Oh yeah, they say it's, it's a federal offense. If you smoke how, a of a, how was that, jail time? If they put you on the like, no fly list, though, so then any time you wanted to fly, they'd be like, no private jet motivation. It's a good way to think of it. Oh, you want to take me off the no fly list? I'll buy my own fucking airport. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in flight suit. <laughs> Fucking me. <laughs> shitting on y'all. Yeah, you know, literally. I want to play video games. You see it, bro. I haven't played any video games. I don't even know how to plug the Twitch into my TV. The Switch? Yeah. The Switch? switch. Yeah. <laughs> Keep calling it the Twitch. <laughs> Sam. Oh, more out. Alright. Swiss Army holder. You can like use it for scissors to break up bud and stuff if you don't have a grinder. Alright. What? There's a string. Okay. What are you doing? There in the string. Okay. What are you doing? There in the string. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. You wanna sell that? You wanna put that up on the shop for tomorrow? Right here. I don't know, but when my beard turns gray, I'm gonna go up 10 levels of fucking hot, so it doesn't really matter to me. Do you think your beard is gonna like turn gray like all of a sudden? Like it'll just be no, like it'll fast? be no, it'll be like gray in other colors. I look like Sabretooth from fucking X Men. I move to an igloo land. Yeah, I want like an underground subterranean fucking ice igloo thing with like fans all just like multiple fans all angled just right at me. Big ass dude tube. Yeah, it's pretty large. Another day at the office. Hey, see that? Oh, yeah. Put out. 
Uh, you go get some black. Hey, uh, Maddie, you got black? Back in my day, Maddie. I'm gonna tell you what. This is a story that happened at the shop after the shop was closed, but he was this like older redneck biker dude. And he had these like ripped jeans and he didn't wear underwear and you could like see his nuts shit through the so underwear. Sick. Tattooing this chick's foot and he kept like bringing her foot closer to the hole or whatever until that finally he was tattooing her and his, her toes were like touching his balls. <laughs> So the tattoo gets done and like, everyone's gone from the shop. The shop's like closed or whatever. Getting ready to leave or whatever and he like meets her up front. He goes, I'll meet you up front, I'll check you out. Strips down totally naked, he's standing in the front. And she just is like, no fucking way. And he's like, hey, it's worth a shot. <laughs> and she just like left. Why are you going fucking 12 miles an hour? I don't know, dog. I am late. Well, I'm starving and I want to get home, so. Alright. We fucking literally were following drive safe 12 color. truck links behind driver. a student driver. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about other shit. Yeah. So we're just. I'm just gonna physically bring myself over to the slow lane and go really slow so I can just think about a bunch of other stuff while I'm driving. It only seems like slower than just weed slow to me. Yeah. Although I may come off that way to That's a lot true. of people. You are somewhat. I think you're spent the dog tricks really saved you. Yeah. Anyone that thought you were a rain man, <laughs> which you may still be, the jury's out. She could just be like this fucking weird dog trainer, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, there is. There's there's a lot of the people. The Jackson like that. Pollock of fucking dog trainer. Yeah. Well, we'll have to show some more tricks. Yeah. Let the audience be the judge. Teach Omar some new tricks. Yeah, Omar's gonna learn to bring you those blunt wraps. It's, it's pretty good since considering they're in a drawer about eight. <laughs> You know, about fucking five feet off, four feet off the ground. We're point four from the meat market, but we're not sure if it's we don't just know, meat. We don't know if they had it. Right, we're going a safe way, because it's a safe, safe bet. way. The safe way. The safest yeah. way to get avocados right now. Hi. 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 Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Huh. All right, so I'm home from the shop. Today it was mellow, I got one tat to do. Everybody from the shop, well not everybody, but most everybody is going to the Hawaii Tattoo Convention. So they're all headed to that. Um, if you're in Hawaii, which I can't remember which island it is, I wanna say, no, I don't even wanna say, I don't know. They're all gonna be at the Tattoo Convention. Sager's actually got some shirts with him that are not Boost God shirts, just like a shop shirt, and also um, beach towels. So he has Boost God beach towels with him. So if you do want to stop by the convention, you can meet up with him and he can hook you up. We have a drop tomorrow, so tomorrow's the restock and last stock of this lace, the shoelaces. Some people had a problem with the laces rubbing off. We're sorry, we tried to fix the ones that, you know, some people didn't have the problem, some people did, the new ones. It does not rub off. We had to spend a little bit more money and make it happen. So these should be good to go. Three different kinds, $10 a pack. And then we have the Dragon Restock black and white shirts, as well as the LTD Aqua, which, or Teal, which are 30 bucks. And then we have the Pan Am Long Sleeve in black and white, which is also 30 bucks. So that's tomorrow, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, noon in New York, 9 a.m. in California. Boom, boom, boom. So tonight, I have to get prepared. I have to hang out with Omar, but tonight I have, well first, my house is still a total wreck. To get ready because I have an interview slash discussion, I don't know what you call it, on the Sneak Disc podcast tonight. I talked to them once before at a sneaker con, but tonight we're gonna talk, I guess, a little more in depth. I don't really know. I'm not really sure. They just asked me to do it, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, that's what I have to do tonight, and that's why I have to edit the vlog. And Private Label sent me these new backpacks that I was gonna bring home and show you guys all about, but I forgot to bring it home, so we'll have to wait till tomorrow. Peace!
Chris. Omar, what are you gonna do with these? You look like a bunny. You're a bunny now. I'm a bunny.